Last year, a state advisory commission made recommendations for how to distribute more than $300 million in federal broadband funding across Montana. Now, another commission has started planning for the next round of federal funds, with twice as much money available, but much different regulations on how it can be used. ARPA just simply said, make broadband, deploy it, keep everybody in compliance. As we've talked about for months, this could not be um, more different. The latest round of funding came through the Federal Broadband Equity, Access, and Deployment, or BEAD, program. Just under $629 million has been allocated for Montana, one of the highest amounts per population of any state. Unlike the ARPA broadband funding the state awarded last year, this money is specifically intended to get broadband to every unserved location, mostly rural, in the state. One of the biggest questions we continue to keep getting um, from the press and from the public in particular is, is this enough money? Um, <laughs> and that is a magic eight ball question, um, but the answer is yes and no. Montana Department of Administration Director Misty Ann Giles says it would be too expensive to install fiber lines to everyone, so they'll have to look at other technologies like fixed wireless to reach some locations. The state is now tasked with putting together an initial proposal for how to choose providers to build the new broadband infrastructure. One of the first steps will be making sure state and federal authorities both have an accurate picture of what locations are completely unserved or underserved. It is a constant effort of getting more information and refining. The initial proposal must be turned in for federal approval by the end of the year. The Commission plans to really dig into the details of the plan they'll submit to the federal government at their meetings in August and September. In Helena, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News.